and welcome back to the anime news for August 9th, 2019. A Kyoto based nonprofit organization delivered more than 50,000 paper cranes to Kyoto Animation this week. They were folded by fans and delivered to the remains of KyoAni's first studio building by six members of the organization, along with messages written in both Chinese and Korean. The founder of the nonprofit said, Kyoto Animation is hope. The studio is loved by people around the world. I think many people wanted to gather together to do something. In the U.S., distributor Eleven Arts is also collecting paper cranes and messages from fans. The cranes can be sent to their studio in Los Angeles and will be delivered to KyoAni at a later date. So, good on them. Moving on to slightly happier news. The World Cosplay Summit is an annual cosplay festival and competition bringing together cosplayers from all over the world. Competitors representing their home countries compete in first, second, and third prize, as well as themed awards from sponsors. This year's summit began with 77 cosplayers representing 40 different countries. Eight teams competed in the final round, with Team Australia taking first prize for their Monster Hunter World cosplays. That's pretty awesome. Team USA took second place, cosplaying from Bloodborne, and third went to Team France with costumes from the Legend of Zelda franchise. The event hopes to foster friendly international relationships through Japanese pop culture, and included a guided sightseeing trip around Nagoya for the participants, along with the competition rounds. So, pretty cool, nice event all the way around, um, and, you know, pleasant for people. So, that's cool. Uh, also cool, Bandai Spirits, the toy and hobby subsidiary of Bandai Namco, will begin construction on a new factory in December. The new Bandai Hobby Center Shinkan will begin producing Gundam model kits in the fall of 2020. Bandai is anticipating an increase in demand for the models due to the 40th anniversary of the franchise, new anime project, and the planned Hollywood movie adaptation. Over 5 billion Gunpla kits have been shipped since their debut in 1980. The 40th anniversary celebrations will include the new anime project, comics and new model kits, and a life-size moving Gundam statue, as well as collaborations with various organizations and businesses. Pretty darn awesome, and I agree with the chat. Add cosplay to the Olympics. Let's just do that. A new project will allow members of an online Konosuba fan community to become online editors of the series' official fan book. Konosubarashi Dokusha to Isatsu wo, or A Book with Wonderful Readers, will give special privileges to members of the community, including complete access to the entire Konosuba anime series. That's pretty crazy. Members can also participate in both real-life and online meetings regarding the fanbook's production and will have online editing privileges. Nice. Finally, an exhibition opening this month in Tokyo will feature swords based on the Evangelion series, because Evangelion, as well as art and production materials. The Evangelion and Japanese Swords ex exhibit contains a total of 26 blades forged by Japanese swordsmiths. The exhibition opened for the first time in 2012, and traveled around Japan and Europe. This year's version will feature a new section of production materials from the upcoming Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 movie. Everything eventually will be done as an Evangelion thing. Let's just be honest.